President Obama, I think I've discovered your biggest threat. Not Mitt. Ron. Not the former governor of Massachusetts. But the rambunctious congressman from Texas. You heard me right. The biggest impediment to this president getting reelected isn't the guy who likely opposed him on the Republican side, but the guy who I still think is a good bet to run as an independent and prove a big pain in the president's side. Now, I know, I know it goes against conventional wisdom that Ron Paul running third party whacks the grand old party, that Mitt is the one who takes the hit, and President Obama is, well, just a hit. I'm not so sure. Here's why. I heard a crowd, a very young crowd, a very jazz crowd. If you missed them last night at a Ron Paul rally covering this on Fox Business Network, allow me the chance to let you hear this. Yes. And that's that. Right. And that's that. Yeah. Those are largely kids going more than largely nuts over a 76-year-old dude talking about reining in the Fed and pulling back our troops. That's a crowd that usually isn't engaged with or by or anything having to do with Republicans. The same crowd, I suspect, might have attended some Barack Obama rallies four years ago, but not now. And then it got me thinking, now and then this, this does happen. If Ron Paul can draw that kind of crowd, the president's crowd, does he offset the support he's dragging away from the presumptive Republican nominee and his traditional crowd? Hard to say this much is not. Ron Paul isn't only a force. I think he's a phenomenon. Way too early to say he still can't be the Republican nominee. Even earlier to say he can't make a go of it as an independent nominee. All I know is the libertarian is a hit with a lot of liberals. Liberals who want us drawing our troops back and cutting our spending back. Rowdy kids share that view. Kids Republicans have long dismissed and Democrats have long taken for granted. Not wise, not now. Not when Ron is the rage and the life of the party and poised to enrage both parties. 76-year-old dude treated like a rock star.